morning and welcome so yesterday we were talking about step 7 of exercise 2 and we completed exercise 2 with step 7 and we were going to reflect on the steps so the steps are before you and if you could reflect on these steps we can hear them or if we have any questions any doubts yesterday we didn't really have time for taking questions so if we have that we can take that and then we'll go on to madam namaskar to all namaste uh, madam actually uh, we already uh, uh, did this and also we have been doing uh, from the beginning yeah what we observed uh, i am in space and the body is in space i am in space uh, is observed by the self but the body is in space is observed by the uh, sensation uh observing the sensation madam uh, the reading reading of uh, sensation uh, because uh, i can see it uh, seeing means uh, uh, it is uh, due to sensation uh, yes, it give self can yes madam you said said the self can see uh, observe the self but the body can be seen by sensation who is seeing the sensation i am i am uh, uh, the body also is being seen by the self yeah that is also can be seen by the self but uh, the self sees by with the help of sensation only yeah that's what i have told madam ha uh, but when you say i observe myself in space can you see space yeah yeah space in the sense self uh, is observed by the self uh, right, right. not in space in yeah self. yeah yeah uh, that's yeah. right i can so observe we just myself speak mm. very casually and we say all these sentences like you know yeah just so casual but you look at the meaning what you are saying i am in space can you see space yeah madam space is just generally we see that space also by sensation we can see not by this what do you <laughs> mean you can see space by sensation please explain that uh, you are telling na no? so can you see the space then uh, uh, i you you observe the uh, how do you see space by sensation tell me Uh, suppose now i see the uh, space around me uh, let us say the empty that is empty... the space we are talking about yeah yeah that's what uh, i am saying that is the observed by the... the distance is not the space we are talking about mm -hmm. isn't it mm -hmm. what are we talking about as space mm. we are talking about a very subtle reality and you are saying you can see it through sensation how can you see it through sensation oh yeah that's the whole point we can't see it through sensation of the body because mm. it's much more subtle than what you can see through the body that's mm -hmm. why we are not able to see it mm -hmm. we can enough we must understand what we are saying mm -hmm. then what do you mean by space madam <laughs> <laughs> because you have not explained what what is it it I'm should be explained. experienced only na you are telling yeah because what have we been saying <laughs> about space that it is a very subtle reality it is you know every every unit that is there in this existence is submerged in space so i hope that this is making sense i mean if we are you know if anybody else would like to share their you know thoughts on this we can discuss this because this is important see as long as we think i can see it i can see the gap between the two and i can observe this this is not the space we are talking about no is it 
clear to us or not? Can you answer in the chat? Nirupam ji is saying not very clear. So you can. Uh, yeah. So if anybody has doubts or questions, we can take the questions also. Baliji Reddy is back, so we'll take his. Um, uh, madam, I'm sorry, madam. The power has gone suddenly. Again, uh, I have kept it. I'm sorry. What you have. What you have uh explained also i uh, i have not uh, uh, listened to could you please uh, repeat madam the few sentences yeah see what have we been saying about space yeah yeah madam yeah actually with uh, uh, suppose the uh, the subtler thing uh, we have to see that you are saying na? uh suppose could you please explain the characteristics uh, of the feeling at least we can check whether feeling. we have so what did you say so how can we uh, of the uh, of this of space there's no feeling in space then how can we uh, uh, means what experience that it is space how do you experience the body is there feeling in the body uh, i can experience the body by sensation only yes what does that mean and that sensation is read by the self only who is the self? Uh, then uh, uh, what you are saying, I am listening. Whatever everything is outside, I am seeing. Uh, who is that? Uh, that is me. That is the self. What I feel. Uh, yeah. But can I see myself? Yeah, I can experience self. Uh, I can experience self because uh, it's me who is speaking. Yeah, I can see my activities. Isn't yeah. it? Uh, activity in the sense uh, it can uh, uh, observe it, na? it can uh, experience it. Eh? What is it? That self. Uh, huh? It cannot uh, self, na, madam. Self is me only, na? Uh, yes. Me only. Then. Uh, when you say it, it looks like a third thing. Mm -hmm. oh. See, so how can, all... how can the self be seen, it's madam? In the way we talk. Ah, uh, madam. So. That's why I say keep it open. If we can't see it, leave it open. Mm -hmm. it conclude something otherwise because then now you will not look at beyond that because now yeah. you think you know it. Uh, really? So whatever we uh, I'm saying and I'm uh, understanding what you're saying and all these things are uh, uh, known by self only. That's why I'm the self. And uh, uh, in your words, uh, it can be seen also, no? you're telling, by itself. Yeah. So that, uh, I don't know how. So, so we have to build our competence. Okay, okay. Yeah, but I, if I assume that I can see the space by the sensation, how is it possible? See, that becomes totally something hmm. I have totally okay, okay. understood. No? Um, space, space uh, uh, so, uh, suppose the body is there. What you told only, uh, surround the body, the space is there and within the body also space is there. Can you see the space in the body? Uh, in the space I cannot see. Outside uh, the body I can see. This is what but, I am saying. That is not the space. We uh, are that you are telling you it is not the space. Then how can we experience that space is that? This is why we are doing all this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. We want to know ultimately we want to experience yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. By, tell, by telling my answer, you can uh, uh, easily say that I have not experienced. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, suppose if an experienced person is there regarding space, then he can explain, uh, madam, what is space? Then how can it be? What are the... It, it can be experienced only, no? it cannot be explained. <laughs> See, uh, no that's what I'm saying. Things. <laughs> Abhi, we can't go beyond the lowest activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I am saying. B1 block. Then we want to be able to see the highest mm -hmm. yeah. reality. It's not possible for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
some details about the space we did say uh -huh. i don't know if you were listening or not but anyway we'll be repeating that again and again mm -hmm. but the entire existence is in the mm -hmm. form of coexistence yeah, this yeah. coexistence is in the form of units that are mm -hmm. submerged in space in space means what madam that's what no then we cannot ex we don't know na reality, it is the most subtle reality no. you are trying to see how it looks through the eyes you can't so, see that so you then we don't know then we don't know we are uh, uh, submerged in know. space it's good to say i don't know because then i will try to find uh, out no but when you I explain know, then no, no. i don't even try when you explain i am in space means everybody say uh, told yes the body is in space means yes then without knowing how can we say yes and uh, how can you accept it our yes you have to tell me <laughs> how can you say yes without knowing <laughs> because, because for many weeks you have been explaining i am in space the body is in space yes or not then we are saying yes i never said yes or not because i know that you cannot see that <laughs> then uh, this is a very subtle reality yeah that, that we accept we madam that we accept we, we hold cannot on. say yeah, hold yeah. on ultimately we have to be able to see that this is what i have said uh, see time. see that you are telling what is that we don't know na leave it as we discuss it you can reflect on it okay It's okay madam easy. whatever i experience i am sharing because you are uh, telling we are listening and uh, you are asking us to uh, share that's why we are sharing what we experience that is what i'm saying whatever mm -hmm. you experience if you are clear about that mm -hmm. then you will not make such statements mm -hmm. so you know up now yesterday there was a statement in the chat mm -hmm. there are three realities i the self and the body mm -hmm. what do you think about that there were three realities uh, you did not say madam i'm sorry i did not this was in the chat i did not say it ha ah, then i don't know madam because madam i also madam, have but you have to try to investigate in yourself not just because madam, i madam, think you are believing it madam this one thing madam we, we have we to are, try to observe within yeah us. yeah madam we have also read many uh, scriptures and all but we are not taking into consideration in our discussion whatever you are saying in those words only we are discussing why because other things should not be brought into discussion otherwise like we are trying to understand the reality the way it is there can uh, be yeah 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 that is the final thing that is the final thing actually ah so, so it's what? not like this is uhv that is something else so this is something else that is something else we should Everybody, not remember no. we are wanting to see the reality the way it is that is our goal ah that is actually That's our goal what yeah we yeah. want to do yeah yeah. yeah really the word so... can be very different but if i don't understand the words i can't say that because mm -hmm. it's like this that's how it is ah like. yeah yesterday you told me na so some some three things have come into picture uh, I mean, that actually i don't uh, uh, want to discuss also madam Maybe because whatever is there the concept in usv that only is to be discussed that is better that's why it's not like that what do you have to say for that what do you observe <clears throat> and let me look at that then how do we say what is right and what is not right i have mm -hmm. to try to look within yeah, yeah not that yeah. i said so that's why it is like this yeah that's not what we are trying to do we are uh, trying to observe. that is that uh, i i should be better madam why because many things uh, many people read many scriptures suppose if all those things they come into our discussion it is a time waste na no? we are trying to see whatever we can see directly ah yeah 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 many things are written i agree mm -hmm. many things are being said by me i agree mm -hmm. but unless and until everyone tries to observe the reality themselves mm -hmm. it means nothing it becomes one more belief one more assumption you see yeah, what yeah. i'm saying yeah yeah that's not what we want because yeah. if i assume something to be true i stop even trying to explore hmm i already assume that i know hmm mm -hmm. that's the whole point of the exploration that is the whole point of the exercises 
Mm, yes, Why don't we keep asking the questions? We can just say this is how it is, but we don't say that. No, we no, no. That is also wrong, no, madam. If I know uh, and if I experience something, if we don't explore, when even though it is asked, then uh, we cannot say anything. So I am in space, the body is in space means whatever is being told, that only I am telling, but that space you are telling the subtle reality that uh, till now we have not experienced it. <laughs> that's it. That. That's it. Mm, that that's experience. all you have to say. Ah. And uh, the you other points also. I can observe, I can observe. Are you really observing or you're just repeating something, some statement that you heard? No, 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 I'm not repeating anything. I am in space means how can I know? <laughs> then you only said, I'm just saying. Ah, that's what, what we feel, Anyone, that only we are telling. Me. Otherwise, sorry. we cannot say that I am in space. It's okay, it's okay. Leave yeah, 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 madam. Thank you, madam. I'm sorry because... Uh, uh, Leave it. Uh, thank you, thank you, madam. And then if there are questions, we can take the questions. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because actually, I want to explain all the 6B also. But at the point one itself, you say that uh, you cannot say that you are in space means then I, I should stop it. <laughs> Not like that. Yeah, really, madam. No. Previously also I explained the same thing. You accepted, but now you are telling uh, the space you have not experienced. Okay. I made a mistake. Can no, we no, no, no. Now? Not, not like that, madam. Not like that. <laughs> See, the point is we are trying to understand something. If yeah. we start taking things personally like that, then we can't. Uh, not personally, here. madam. Because uh, now I, I, am, I am in space. I, uh, myself is uh, experiencing that. But what is that uh, space? Again, you said that. I am in space. Myself is experiencing that. Mm. So, How are you uh, experiencing space? Uh, that's why now I accept. I, I don't know what is space. Uh, then I am there. Some, somewhere I am there. It's okay. Leave it. Yeah, yeah. Just madam. reflect on it. Yeah, Try madam. Thank you. Whatever it is that we are talking about. Yeah, madam. The words are not important. Yeah, yeah. What Experience is important. Is important. And I see it for myself within me. Mm -hmm. I serve it directly. Mm, that I have not experienced, madam. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Didi, uh, if I can feel that uh, I am separate and my body is separate. Then is this uh, separation between me, between self and body, is the space? See, I am at the level of thought. You said, mm -hmm. I am thinking about this, that I am separate, the body is separate. We have many thoughts. We have heard this, no, that the needs of the body is different and the needs of the self are different and activities in the body body are different, activities of the self are different and all of this. Now we have heard this many times. Yeah? We have thought about it many times. But mm -hmm. unless and until I can observe it for myself, yeah, it is still something in the thought. Mm -hmm. For instance, when we say feeling. Mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. Now if I say when I have the right feeling, mm -hmm. I feel comfortable. Yeah. Hmm? I'm thinking mm -hmm. about that, but I have not been able to experience that myself. I haven't been able to see it directly. Then mm -hmm. it's a different experience, isn't it? Yeah, then yeah. I'm just thinking about it, but I haven't been able to see the feeling by myself. Why it's not possible is because the feeling is more subtle than the thought. So at the level of thought, which is more gross, I can't see something that is subtle. I can only think about it at the level of thought. Mm -hmm. Can you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So all these higher activities, when we are talking about them, we have to directly observe. From where are you going to observe? from the point of the pure observer. That is the highest point in the self. Mm -hmm. The highest activity in the self. From there we have a glimpse. That is what we are trying to see. So 
once you experience this, once you are able to see the feeling within yourself, once you experience the calm, then you know that this is the feeling that we are talking about. Before that, it is only words about it, but I haven't actually seen it for myself. Can you see the difference? I said that until and unless we see it, the feeling for ourselves, uh -huh. we experience that calm. Mm -hmm. We don't know that the right feeling makes me feel happy. We keep hearing this, no? Uh, yeah, yeah, Adi. Uh, but this statement, uh, we, I mean, I have felt uh, means a uh, right feeling and uh, means which feeling is making me comfortable, uh, which we call about natural acceptance. These things too, we can feel. That's what I'm saying. It was an example. Yeah. That is something you can see directly. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. If you are mm -hmm. not able to see that, when you were not able to see the feeling, then it was something different. You couldn't really experience it. Isn't it? You couldn't mm -hmm. see it directly. Now, with time, with exploration, you are able to see it. Earlier, yeah. when we started, we couldn't even see the thoughts within. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. when we started, we weren't able to see the thoughts within us because our competence had not developed. Slowly, yeah. we were able to see the thoughts. As we kept exploring, as we kept paying attention, we were also able to see the feeling. Isn't it? Yeah. As we keep exploring, we will develop our competence to be able to go beyond this, see the relationship see the mm. self-organization. Then mm. comes, you know, the activity of realization and being able to see the space. So right now, we may not have the capacity to see the space. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah. So okay. mm. we talked about the space, that being in space, every unit is, you know, uh, has activity, is energized, is self-organized, and is seeing the relationship with every other unit. But space by itself is no activity. All that description we talked about, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So this is what we are saying, that we can talk about it, we can say the words about it, and but the, uh, that, I am... there's not much we can do. It is all pervading, it is unlimited, and there is no activity there. Now, if you say the gap between two units, is that really space? There is air there. No? Mm -hmm. There are air particles there which you are not seeing. That means even in that gap, there are units mm -hmm. that are submerged in space, but I am not able to see that. Oh, yeah. Because I'm trying to see things through the gross eyes. So then what do mm. we do? We start thinking about it. Mm. It's okay. okay to think about it, but eventually we have to try to see it directly. So this is why in the beginning itself, we were saying that we may not be able to see this directly right now. But we have to develop the competence ultimately until and unless we see it directly, we may not be able to say that much about it. Okay. okay. See, the whole thing is that as far as possible, we want to be able to experience things for ourselves, to be able to know directly. Because already we are going by many assumptions. So many things have been said, so many things we have heard, so many things that we are uh, believing. How do I know what is right, what is not right? I have to try to see it for myself, isn't it? So ultimately, if I am not able to see it, it's good to accept that I can't see it right now. 
but i will keep trying and we are all in that attempt to try to see and it's okay to say that you know it's all right i thought this is how it is but then perhaps i was wrong yeah so we spoke of the units we spoke of space we said units have activity they are active but space is no activity but being in space all these units are energized they are self organized and all of that you know but right now when we try to see through the body we can't see that space so this is something we have to try to see directly within because with these kind of now when we are trying to see through the eyes we won't be able to see because the eyes can only see something that is very very gross because the body is gross through the gross if i am trying to see the subtle it is not possible but when we say we are directly observing we are talking about the highest activity in the self from there when we observe that possibility is there potential is there and we will all get to it it is just that it may take time and that's all right people have spent lifetimes in this work no so it is not something to be taken casually it is not something to that you know we talk of space and we say yes yes i can see space if we are so casual about it we won't be able to really pay attention to it because i am assuming something about it and believing it to be true but that's not true isn't it so that clarity will come only with directly seeing for ourselves this is what i was trying to say can i add one sentence as you have just allowed me hello madam are you able to hear me i can hear you ah thank you madam madam thank you just i want to share one thing actually i have read i am atman akasha sambhutaha akasha dvayho adhya pradavi tani panchatan matrani is pengalo upanishad even space is not the settler thing atman is the settler thing what i have read i am observing also i have not experienced so could you please reflect on this madam yeah i would say space is the subtlest reality mm, you told so depends on how we have understood things yeah so, madam yeah madam so we can discuss this outside ah ah okay but uh, as you have allowed me just now to express our views that's why i have doubt from the beginning even space is not the subtler thing that's what we'll discuss it outside since okay know. okay madam that's why i don't want to bring all those things into this one that's ah uh, whatever i feel you say madam that only i accept no that's what i'm saying don't accept no 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 accept don't in the accept. sense uh, uh, keeping in observation keep only keep it as open. a proposal as a proposal ah oh. real madam is a proposal only yes because madam, uh, unless we yeah. see it directly we can't say yeah yeah really because okay. the experience is different lot of times in the scriptures also what we find is what is being said is something similar but we don't follow it because our own competence is little low. yeah really really madam <coughs> yeah really very difficult yeah we look into it and that even, yeah, even a small thing satya we know we speak but uh, when to speak satya we don't know <laughs> when to speak it should be pleasingly Uh, so all these things are there no madam it is very difficult to follow truth, truth there are many meanings to truth yeah yeah madam yeah, really really that is truth many places the reality has been expressed as the word truth yeah madam isn't it satya is how things really are yeah yeah the reality the way it is so like that there are many interpretations yeah yeah madam isn't it so uh, we have to be able to interpret those before we can say that 
this is giving something other some other kind of statement yeah madam yeah so yeah yeah it will take time we will all try to look at it directly and see yeah yeah madam but the important thing to see is that with this you know the words that we are saying yeah madam proposal is being given now it is for us to try to directly see that proposal within mm, yeah us. yeah yeah and then keep it as a proposal don't mm. accept ah definitely madam definitely yes thank you madam thank you okay, okay. um i think we can the discussion we went into something else only but uh, we were talking about exercise 2 if there are any quick questions on exercise 2 we'll take them otherwise we'll go forward the work to be done is you know try to go from where i am to further knowledge always goes from the known to the unknown so if i already know some part then i can go to the next step and the next step this is why when we were having the you know the assignment not this time but previously we said let us just explore about the contemplation part the relationship part rather than go beyond that because there itself we may be stuck so if i can't see that part how would i be able to see something even more subtle so this is why but we also mentioned that in step 7 this is just as a placement for seeing our capability for uh doing exercise 3 eventually but it's, of course we need to give time we need to develop our competence and then go forward to that namaste namaste to all uh i had a question yes, that please. we either we respond or react according mm-hmm. to uh, sanskar mm-hmm. but sanskar yeah, i to my mind that sanskar is a very big word and it mm-hmm. not just an experience that positive or negative uh, to deal with so can you explain little more regarding the sanskar how it works yeah. so if you see the sanskar it is some assumption we have made yeah like a belief and that belief comes in our living even if we say words to the contrary that belief is playing its part so for example supposing i believe that i am body now i see my body i see another unit another human being i am seeing the other body and between them i see some gap yeah so i see myself as separate from that human being uh, ma'am that gap is not the physical one only but also the con- uh, i mean conscious part both yeah but see because i am trying to interpret everything through the sensation of, of the body and yeah. because i have assumed i am the body it seems to me i am not even a lot of times aware of the self <coughs> so i am making that interpretation but i think of myself as the body i think of the other person as the body so now the body gains importance for me the self seems like something secondary can you see that yes yes so now if that is my deep rooted sanskar which it is for many of us then lot of times i am because of that now when i see another person i feel that person is separate from me that person is not related to me 
and I may have a feeling of opposition for that person if that person voices a different opinion. Because I have this sanskar also that if somebody has the same opinion as me or if somebody um, acts like me, talks like me, behaves like me, then I am related. Otherwise, I am not related. This deep-rooted assumption also may be there. Like that, mm. we have many, many, many assumptions. Some are in line with understanding, which we say the right sanskar or you know, susanskar, we say. Yes. Some are not in line with understanding. It is an assumption which is not true. No? Mm. Yes. Then that becomes a kusanskar, something that is not in line and because of which I may have a feeling that is not in line. So now if this sanskar is there, that if the other person has the same opinion as mine, only then I'll have the right feeling. This is somewhere there in me. Then only I will see the relationship. Now with that sanskar, when I interact with this person, when this person is talking the way I think, then I relate to this person and I have the right feeling. But when this person is talking about a different opinion from mine, now I can't see the relationship. Now I start getting irritated, upset, angry. I start reacting. So you can yeah. see how this sanskar, it becomes very indefinite. My Whether I will respond or whether I will react, that's not sure. Hmm. But if I am able to see everything the way it is directly, then I know. Now the belief is less important because I can see directly. It's like if somebody tells me the joy of giving is more than the joy of receiving. Now, until I see it for myself, I will say, what nonsense. Uh, yes, of course, yes. it is better to get rather than to give. Otherwise, I'll be left with nothing. All these things I may say, isn't it? Yes. But since I start experiencing it, now I know. Now, if somebody tells me otherwise also, I can say that, no, I know this because I have been able to see it for myself. Mm -hmm. So that's what we are trying to do here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I think we'll go to... Basically, I know the experience. I am a vertically art college student. And working more than 25 years in industry, then move to engineering college. Can you hear my voice? Yeah, I can hear. But what are you uh, talking regarding? Uh, regarding the sanskar nowadays to be changed. In my view, it's not uh, giving the lot of uh, practical knowledge to the students. No, I'm not. Uh, you are expressing a view or you have a question? I didn't follow. I, uh, my question is my sanskars to be changed in the practical way. You have already told this is a technical education uh, being value-based education to be needed. I say technical education itself, we have to change. True. First, it is just, you know, um, values, the course of values is introduced as a course separate yes. from the regular but eventually everything needs to be value based all education needs to be value based isn't yes. it yes true very true because that is significant that is what is the way you know how the existence is also now Excuse me, sorry to interrupt. Uh, nowadays, uh, this is a book-based education. Students are interested to score the marks only, not to uh, how to practically do something, even though practical is one or two classes are there, 
the experiment will do the experiment and got the full marks and everything but reality it's very very based on my view to be changed the sanskar to be must be in practical view for example i have already told so many times how to ride the cycle we have already explained the book is there and the sanskar also but we don't give the practice to the students this way if you sanskar is implemented that's very good to all the human beings uh, technical as well as value based sanskar is something that is my own belief implemented means i can give one more proposal but i can't change somebody else's sanskar just like this i can give a proposal they have to be able to see it within themselves they have to be able to recognize whether it is the right sanskar or not the right sanskar that capacity is there in every individual so if i yes. just give one statement and say this is how it is then they are going to form one more sanskar one more belief without really knowing for themselves isn't it yes so everything we can which is what we are trying to do it is true that education has become very you know um career oriented only and in the career also more on the basis of physical facility but that's why we need this value courses and eventually value based education throughout across the board all education true yes thank you thank you panch mahabhut what we call the elements that make up this whole uh, whatever is being said no ultimately about the material world so all of these are units air is a unit in that also if you see there are so many other sub units so these are every unit by itself is complete every unit is active every unit is self organized so you have hydrogen and you have oxygen and they come together to form water now water is a unit oxygen is also you know by itself it is available as a gas that is also a unit so like that you can see that there are many units in the physical order many units in the bio order many units in the animal order then those are material units then you also have consciousness units which are different have different characteristics from the material units so we'll come to that i hope to lecture 17 we are talking of now the expression of coexistence remember what we said about the existence it is in the form of coexistence and this is ever present now if we look at we can go to the next slide if we look at this expression of the existence we will see ultimately you know what we call the four orders of nature not that there is specific orders outlined in the existence but for our own convenience for our own understanding we have tried to delineate them into four orders so that we can study them better isn't it so existence we said is in the form of units that are submerged in space now space is a separate reality units are a separate reality units are limited in size they have activity they are active space on the other hand is unlimited and it is no activity this is an important point so that we don't confuse between the space and the units and as we keep discussing as we keep trying to see more and more this this point 
uh, we'll be able to see the significance of this. If we look at the if the if we look at the units, there are two types of units. This we have already spoken of. So we have the material units and we have the consciousness units. In the case of the material units, their response is on the basis of recognizing and fulfilling. And it is definite. They don't have a choice in the matter. That is how it is. In the case of the consciousness units, there is recognizing and fulfilling, but this is on the basis of the assumption. This is what we were just trying to say some time back, this discussion that was happening. So if I assume something to be true, you know, I have developed this sanskar. Now that drives my feeling and my thought and ultimately my behavior. So my recognition and fulfillment is on the basis of that assumption. But if I can get to knowing, that means directly seeing for myself, then I can see it directly. And now I know for sure this is how it is. And because of that, now my recognition and fulfillment can become definite. As an example, if I don't see Like if I see right now how we were saying this gap between two units and I see it as separate. Yeah. So if you take that example of, you know, taking your hand in front of you and you see the outline of your fingers and you say, this much is me. Anything outside this is not me. We say that, no? This is my body. This is me. We don't even say my body. We say this is me. Because again, that deep rooted sanskar that I am body. So I say that this is me. Now beyond this, there is a gap. In that gap, there could be many things that I am not able to see. So I say that is not me. But if I could see through an electron microscope, I might be able to see that, in fact, my skin has small pores. And there is a lot of activity going on. Many what we call, you know, microorganisms, they may be going in and out of my body. Isn't it? So one moment a microorganism is outside my body and I'm saying that this is not me. Next moment, that microorganism is within my body. Now I say this is me. But the next moment, it can come back out. It is free to go in and out. You see what I'm saying? Is it making sense what I'm saying? You can just reply in the chat. Yeah, okay. Um, Baliji Reddy ji is saying, I'm sorry, I misbehaved and overreacted. Please don't be. This is what the discussion is for. Hmm? Let's not, uh, you know, sort of, um, let's take the discussion forward. Let's keep trying to observe. And I certainly don't have any, you know, I don't think about these things much. So don't worry about it. I am, we are all trying to explore and I can see that you also want to know, you are also trying to understand. And sometimes we misunderstand things. So I just wanted to clarify that for all of us, it is important to directly see because I don't want that it should become one more belief. That's all. So all the best to you. Don't worry about it. Yes. So now see my assumption, but now if I can directly see all the way up to the subtlest reality and I see space and I see that this space is in fact 
uniting us all it is not it's like if you could see like a whole you know everything in one place interconnected like a mesh or a you know um, no gap here and there but everything interconnected now you would have a different way of looking at it i'm sorry i can't describe it better because i myself i am very clear that i have not been able to see the space and i am in the process like all of you so i have to go with words i have to go with some assumptions but we must be very clear that we don't we are not able to see it yes yet so we have to keep making the effort so ultimately if i get to knowing and i am able to see this interconnectedness now i'll be no nobody needs to tell me that you take care of this other person also i'll see my relatedness it's like when i see the body i see the body as a whole i don't have to tell myself that you have to take care of the hand you have to take care of the foot you have to take care of the leg you have to take care of the ear you have to take care of the eye why because i see it as a whole i see it as a whole thing by itself so when we are able to see directly we get to knowing then we will be able to see the whole expanse everything the way it really is but till that happens we will keep trying to explore keep trying to um gain access to the higher activities within us so these are the material and the consciousness units so this is about the assuming the role of assuming the sanskar becomes so important now you can see a progression in the material unit only recognizing fulfilling in the consciousness unit to start with in animals assuming is there no potential for knowing then in the human consciousness no the self as it progressively evolves there is also potential to know so you can see this expression slowly how it is expressing itself so we said that the material units are temporary the consciousness units are continuous and this space is ever present it is there it is unbounded in time unbounded in now this space is the space that we can see na so it is unbounded in area you can say so it is unlimited next slide so we said existence is in the form of coexistence is in the form of units that are submerged in space and this coexistence is ever present in all time in all areas na space uh, makes it more confusing so you'll find that being in coexistence in space every unit is energized it is active every unit is self organized like we said and every unit recognizes its relationship with other units and fulfills it so it is ever present means it is there it is there in all time it is there in every area there is no place where space is not there this is what it means it is ever effective that means this um the you know the characteristics of this coexistence that being in coexistence every unit is energized it is self organized it is recognizing the relationship this coexistence is ever effective that means this applies to every reality from the smallest atom to the largest biggest unit to the nature as a whole you will find this is there for every unit 
Every single unit is energized, it is active, it is self-organized. It is recognizing its relationship with other units and fulfilling it. This is that. So this is what it means to say that it is ever effective. Next slide. Then we can see that also it is ever expressing. So if you look at the four orders, you have more and more complexity as you are going from the physical order to the bio order to the animal order to the human order. You see this progression. So this is the unfolding of or the expression of this coexistence. It is unfolding itself. It is expressing itself in these four orders from the least complex to more and more and more and more complex. So in the physical order, from the smallest atom to the heavenly bodies. Then comes the bio order, which is something more than the physical order. It doesn't just exist, it also has pulsation. So you have small cells, single cells, unicellular to all the way to the human body, which is so complex. Then you have the animal order. Here, even though the body is the same as the bio order, but you have now an association of the self. And the self is only awakened to the activities of selecting tasting. And then you come to the human order, which is, again, the self is there, but self is now awakened to some more activities. So you can see this progression, how this progression is there. That is an expression of the coexistence. It is ever expressive. So we'll stop here. We are almost.